Don't believe the lies. Welcome back to Live Lean TV for Women. I'm your host, Jessica Rumba, and I specialize in teaching the ladies how to live lean. The ladies have the pressure when it comes to grocery shopping for the household. So that's why this week's episode is all about the food industry lies. They are putting blatant lies on their food labels and getting away with it. But you are more savvy than that and you're going to be a smart shopper. If you want to live lean, you have to pay attention to the ingredients that you're putting in your body. So today I'm taking you to the grocery store with me and I'm going to uncover some of these lies that are tricking you into buying unhealthy foods that look like they're healthy. So let's go, let's take a look. All right, the first big lie the industries are telling you is that foods are quote unquote natural. If you see any foods like this one, you should look at the other side, read the ingredient label to really see if it's natural or not. Here we are at the natural food section. Let's see what they have to offer. Pizza, pizza, and more pizza. <laughs> A true natural food is something that only has one ingredient and probably doesn't even come with a label on it anyway. Something like oranges or broccoli, those are the real natural foods, not these pseudo natural foods that just have natural on the label. If it has more than one or two ingredients or you didn't make it at home, it's probably not natural. All right, moving on to trans fat free. A lot of products these days are labeled trans fat free because we all know that trans fat is bad for us, but unfortunately the FDA still allows there to be 0.5 grams of trans fat and the food labelers are still allowed to call it trans fat free. And that's just per serving. So if you're gonna eat more than one serving of a food, which you probably are, you're getting more than 0.5 grams of trans fat, which is really not a good story. Just because it says zero grams trans fat does not mean that it doesn't have bad types of fat in it. Read those labels. Check the ingredient labels again. Make sure that there are no different forms of trans fat because they'll use a lot of different words for it. Be a savvy shopper and make sure that you're not actually buying any trans fat at all. Easiest way to do this is to not even buy those products with that label on it. All right, our next one is sneaky and it's about vegetables. Some of these grain products are labeled that they have vegetables and herbs, maybe it'll be spinach or sun-dried tomatoes in it, but if you read the ingredient label carefully, you'll see that it's not actually spinach, it's just a flavored, spinach flavored powder. So you're not actually getting a vegetable at all, it's primarily grains and they've completely tricked you into it. So be careful of those products that say they have vegetables in it, just head straight for the veggies instead. Juices are some of the worst culprits because you look at it and you're like, oh, it's juice, it's made of a fruit, it must be healthy. But these sneaky ones like V8 Splash, they're telling you it has vegetables in it, but if you read the ingredient label, you'll see that it's mostly just sugar water. And then like on this Sunny D, it says it's got 100% vitamin C in it, but read that ingredients list and you're gonna see that it is a storm of crazy chemicals. So it is not what you wanna be feeding your kids. <laughs> and as a woman, as a mother, it's your responsibility to really watch out for the health of your family and choose the right things off the shelf. So at Live Lean TV, we say steer clear of the entire juice section and you're gonna be better off. If you want orange flavor, squeeze a fresh orange. Another food lie, if the package says lean or fit on it, like any of these products here, it's probably not gonna help you get lean or fit. Unfortunately, they are preying on customers' desire to be leaner, fitter, and healthier by just simply putting those words on the label. It does not make the food healthy for you. So be really wary of that, and if it says fit, healthy, or lean on the label, it's usually a sign that it is not. Does this look like what your mama would make? <laughs> That's crazy. All right, and last but not least, this whole gluten-free craze, it's driving us crazy because just because a product says gluten-free on the label has nothing to do with healthy or not. 
And a lot of times they're tricking customers into believing that brownies, crackers, pretzels, and so forth are now health foods because they're gluten-free. I can't tell you how many times I've heard someone say, oh, but it's organic or it's gluten-free. You have to look past the label and look at what the food really is. Flip that box right over, check the ingredient list. If you're seeing all kinds of words you can't pronounce, it's a no-go. Hopefully you guys aren't falling for any of these tricky labels. And just remember, if you need to learn how to cook, how to make delicious natural foods, like real natural foods, actually taste yummy, we have step-by-step -step recipe cooking videos in our membership site, teamlivelean.com, where all of our members are enjoying the little how-to technical lessons of what to do with those natural foods when you bring them home in their raw form. So I know it can seem intimidating, but we're, we're here to walk you through it step by step and make everything easier for you so you're actually eating natural, healthy, fit foods and not falling for those lies. How rude. <laughs> it's, it says no high fructose corn syrup and then you check to see, oh whoa, what is, else is it? Regular corn syrup, oh that's better. Thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Live Lean TV for Women. If you like this episode, make sure to leave us a like in the corner. It really means a lot to us and helps our channel grow and get the word out to more people about living healthy and eating clean, lean food. So also make sure you're on my newsletter list at jessicaramba.com to stay informed with the weekly episodes. And I'll see you guys next Thursday with another episode. Thanks for watching. Bye. Today I'm gonna be very brave and jump in this freezing cold pool for you guys because it's an excellent way to get your low impact cardio done.